Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas dashboard how-to videos. This video is on the beginner scripting. This video will demonstrate the interface of scripting as well as a basic debugging technique through script. Scripting is used for scenarios where something needs to be changed or added during the runtime. Usually, this object can't be set during the design time. Now, let's get started. Here is our dashboard that contains a line chart and a drop down parameter. Every object will have a list of interactions. For example, the line chart has click interaction, hover interaction, on data changed interaction, and many more. All of these interactions will be triggered at different times. To get the detailed information when that happens, we have to hover over the desired interaction with our mouse and a pop-up will appear providing that information. The dashboard itself also has interactions. For example, load interaction, parameter changed interaction, size changed interaction, and many more. Let's add a new load interaction. This can be done by clicking on the cell beside the desired interaction and click add. This is the script interface, which will look identical to all other script interfaces. There are a few buttons on top, so let's go over them. First one is Toggle Explorer. This is where you're able to display or hide Object Explorer and Type Explorer. Object Explorer shows all of the objects that are currently existing on your dashboard. Example, Line Chart 1 is our line chart. Type Explorer shows all possible objects with their properties. For example, analytical cell has all of these properties. Now, let's copy the script of adding an average strip line to our chart so we can see how the rest of the buttons are used. The next button is find. This is where we're able to search for a specific word in our script. Let's use this to find the word line chart. Once it finds it, it will be highlighted. The following button is the go to line. This allows us to go to a specific line. Let's go to line 6. Note how the cursor is on line 6 now. Also, on the bottom right hand side, there are details on the cursor. Line 6, column 1. The grayed out button right now is a blue arrow. This is revert. When clicked, we'll load previously saved script. Since we haven't saved this, we can't click revert. The green check mark is apply. Once clicked, the script will take effect. Note. When closing the script interface, this will automatically apply the script. The gear is the build button. When clicked, we'll check if there are any syntax issues. We will receive the error message or build succeeded on the bottom left hand side. The red X is the delete. This will delete the entire script. References is a script module references. This is where script can be reused throughout dashboards and projects where applicable. The box area to the right is the name of the script. This is to give developers a reminder what the script is for, but also be able to be called upon by other scripts. We are now familiar with the scripting interface so let's see a quick and easy debugging technique with scripting. Whenever trying to debug a script, we would want to know the exact values at certain times and whether or not the script was ever fired. We can accomplish this 
with a simple trace technique. Let's see how this would work. Let's place a trace script that will show us the average value. Let's preview the dashboard. What we want to do is show the script console. You can do so by clicking leftmost button. As we can see, there is a value 88.25, which seems about right according to our chart, as that value is where the line should appear at. Let's see another way to use the trace. Let's place a button on our dashboard. Let's add a click interaction. And let's add a trace saying the button was clicked. Let's build this to make sure we did not make any mistakes. Let's apply it and let's preview. Open the console. Note how the 88.25 shows up but not our newly made trace. The reason for this is the button interaction was never executed while the dashboard load interaction was indeed fired. Let's click on the button now. And notice how a new trace appeared saying the button was clicked. Every time we click on a button, the click interaction gets executed. For as many times as we click on the button, that's as many times the trace will appear. We can always clear the trace to tidy up if the trace window gets too messy by clicking the clear trace button. We can also write some script in the console itself. Let's just write a quick trace to say hello. Note how there's buttons here as well. The buttons here are very similar to those we have seen on our regular script interface. Toggle trace button will hide or show the trace window. Toggle explorer shows the object and type explorer. Find button will search for a specific word. Go to line will navigate you to the desired line. Build will check if the script written has any syntax error. And as seen earlier, the run button will execute the script. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support.dondas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.